food prep is a huge key to being successful. Not only does it make your life easier because you're gonna have meals that are ready and done, but it's cheaper. I mean, in the end, I spend about $400 a month on everything. That includes my salmon, steak, ground beef, all my chicken, uh, all the vegetables that I add with it. Um, I mean, frozen vegetables, I get some fresh vegetables. It doesn't matter. I spend, on average, about $400 a month, which ends up being about $4 a meal if you break it down to three meals a day for the month. You can't eat salmon and steak and pasta and all this stuff for $4 anywhere. And if you can, well then you must be living somewhere that shit is cheap because I can't do it. And then people tell you, well, food prep, it takes so long, blah, 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 all this stuff. I'm gonna kind of bring you through a little bit of what I do. When I buy this fresh, I know I eat about a pound and a half of steak a week. And then I eat four ounces of my ground beef. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead right now, I'll portion this out and, set and separate it into bags so that I'll have a pound and a half a pound and a half, a pound and a half, a pound and a half. There's four weeks already separated. So all I have to do is throw it in the freezer and then thaw that stuff out. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll go ahead and break this all up into little balls, little four ounce balls, kind of like this. I don't know if you can really see it, but either way, I'm gonna go ahead and go through all of it and show you what I go through when I first buy all my food. And then I'll show you how easy it is to food prep as well. All right, so right here you see that I just went ahead and get some freezer bags. What I normally do is just go ahead and start splitting it up. I'll put literally a pound and a half in each bag, and then you're done. It doesn't take too long to do this stuff. Right here I just went ahead and threw in a couple pieces of salmon and the chicken because the next day, uh, next morning I'm going to be going ahead and food prepping it so I need to thaw out while I go ahead and finish everything else. Alright, now to make the little 4 ounce balls. I really don't know how much this is going to make or how many. Basically, I mean I get it close to 4 ounces. That'll be five. Put the five ounce off. Once you get one made, you kind of can figure out, all right, about how big you gotta make it. How big are your balls? <laughs> oh man. Seasonings, marinate your shit. A little water in here. Don't be afraid to use seasonings on your foods. Like, the amount of carbs and stuff that is actually in that, by the, uh, by the time you're all said and done, it's really not anything that's gonna be that big of a deal. Uh, maybe if you're in prep for a show, you need to worry about it for sodium and things like that. The thing that I avoid the most is just putting any type of oil in there. I just fill it with water, and I never really notice a difference between if there's oil in it or water in it. Throw some of the salmon in there, made in here. I use a little bit of lemon pepper. honey garlic rub, some good stuff. And I like 
to spice it up a little bit, so I'll throw some bold chipotle on it. Sounds like an odd combo, but it's actually pretty good. Not a whole lot, just enough to give it a little flavor. Now salmon's thawed out. Almost died over there, throwing knives around. Get the scissors. Get it open, let it sit in there. Go in there, mix it up a little bit. Basically, it's going to soak up most of that anyway. Um, as it's cooking, I'll take a spoon and throw some over the top of it, drizzle it around. Um, there you go. Crock pots. One of the best ways to cook chicken, I think, personally. Throw a little bit of water in there. Throw in some uh, Montreal steak seasoning or whatever. I'll even throw in a little bit of Montreal steak. It doesn't it ain't gonna make much of a difference. And then uh, some taco seasoning. Give a little bit of extra taco flavor since I tend to make burritos with these uh, La, Bur La Banderita flour tortillas. These are really good. They're pliable. And make myself a little, uh, <coughs> make me self, yeah, make myself a little bit of a ghetto chipotle burrito. Hell, I like spicy. Throw in some cayenne pepper too. Mix it all up. Over here we had our chicken thawing. <laughs> and it's pretty much thawed out now. So I'll go ahead and just open that up. Take it all and throw it in there. Obviously needs a little bit more water, so we'll fill up the water until the chicken's pretty much covered. We're pretty well in there, about there. Still frozen a little bit, so I know uh, as it unthaws, we'll end up making more water. We don't want it overflowing on us. And then let's go ahead and bring it right over here. The crock pot. We're gonna throw it in there. Plug it in, and I'll go ahead and turn this on, and I'm going to go ahead and put it for uh, on low for 10 hours. And what I'll do is, uh, once it's all done cooking, I'll take a uh, something like a wooden spoon or a spatula, and I'll break it all apart and pull it apart so it's kind of like shredded chicken. In order to get shredded, you got to eat shredded chicken, right? Shredded. Get it? No? Whatever. And then I went ahead and weighed out some rice and my uh, pasta that I'm going to cook and separate. So there you go. You're all set. So tomorrow morning when I wake up, I'm bring my dog, drop him off at the vet, and I'm going to go ahead and start my food prep and show you guys how easy it is. Really, honestly, if you include this little prep right here, um, like I said, that prep is only going to take you one time so that everything's already separated. And then every week all you got to do is just take out a bag of chicken, three pieces of salmon, take out one of those bags of steaks, thaw it all out, throw it in your marinades. It takes you all of about, I don't know, I mean, if you include the thawing, then yeah, it takes you a little bit longer. If you just take it and throw it in there, let it thaw while you're doing other shit, that's not taking you any time. Then you go ahead and mix in your marinades, get it all ready, maybe 15, 15 minutes right there. And then food prep day, I get through everything, including weighing it all out. And I weigh all my stuff, and I'll get through it all within an hour and a half. Two hours tops with cleanup. As you see, it's 11.38. I will 
I'll show you the time when I'm done. And in case you don't have a food scale, you can literally just go by the cup, one cup. So, this is in a full cup measuring cup, but you can always just measure out about half, and there's one, and there you go. It's not that big of a deal if you're a little bit over, just vegetables, they're just filler, and they're good for you. So, who really cares? They're not gonna get a whole lot of difference from a couple extra vegetables. All right, in the end here, basically, I'm just going to go ahead and touch base on a few basic things along with the start and end time, because that's really the main point here, is that it doesn't take a whole lot of your time in order to be set up for success for the week. Um, I'll go through, and I'll grab a few clips, and I'll put them through like this, and let them fast forward, just so you can kind of see what I go through, everything like that. Um, really it's pretty basic if you can multitask then you can really get this food prep done fairly quickly make sure that you clean as you go That'll also take out a huge portion at the end, so you're not just piled up with a bunch of dishes. Um, I don't really use a dishwasher. I have one. If I really, at the end, I have a ton of shit that's left over, then yeah, I'll rinse it out and put it in the dishwasher. But I grew up without a dishwasher, so I'm just used to not having one. So I'm old-fashioned and kind of just do it by hand, and then I know that it's truly clean. At the end of the day, the biggest thing I get questioned on is if the food's still good by the end of the week. Um, I've never had a problem. I've been doing this for probably about three, two or three years now. Um, usually when I cook my eggs, I'll go ahead and use a little bit of Pam or some type of cooking oil, zero calories. Um, but really, when it comes down to it in the end, it's well worth it. When you reheat the food, you're going to kill any type of bacteria that might have built up throughout the week. But what's the difference than anything else that you're eating out of the fridge that's a week old? It's, it's really not going to go bad. So, it works. And that's going to conclude meal prep. There's three different breakfasts. It would be actually two different types. We got my ground beef for my salmon days, my steak for my pasta days, got my chicken and rice. Then I'll go ahead and throw the burritos on. With that, I'll have yogurts and pop tarts and five to one bars and then there is our dinners there is I don't know how good this lighting is there is a pasta meal a salmon meal and chicken lunches Yum. What time is it? It is only 12.34. Um, obviously, all I have left to do is to pretty much put covers on all these, throw them in the fridge, wipe down the counters, and wash those three last pans. Um, so for about $4.40 a meal, and only I guess how if I used about 15 to 20 minutes yesterday, an hour today, plus the rest of this cleanup, we'll just say, hell, we'll say this cleanup's gonna take me another 20 minutes, which it's not gonna. It's gonna take me 10 minutes to cover these up, throw them in the fridge, and wash those last three pans. So you're talking two hours, six days of meals, my last day, seventh day, is a cheat day. I'll eat pancakes for breakfast, um, I'll go crush legs, 
and then I'll go enjoy myself a burger or something that I'm not sick of because I mean really I don't get sick of these meals since I do have two different dinners every day two different breakfasts every other day and then yeah it's chicken and rice for lunch every day but for some reason I don't get sick of it and if I do tend to get sick of it I'll stop throwing it in the crock pot and I'll cook it on the grill and I'll have grilled chicken and I'll change it out and take the wraps out and I'll eat something else with it or eat more rice or eat sweet potatoes or something to that effect. There's always something that you can do and change a little bit in order to keep it enjoyable. So really, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, hit the like button, share it, let people know it's easy to food prep. It doesn't take this absolute crazy amount of time and it's gonna benefit you. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. It's gonna stop you from saying, well, screw it, I'm gonna go out to dinner tonight and then you get there and you see some awesome burger or something that's terrible for you and you eat that instead of something that's a little bit healthier. It's gonna help you stay on point and you can eat good food for way cheaper by cooking it yourself at home and just throwing some random seasonings on it. It's not that hard. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.